Hello everyone, this is Dmitry from Galileo Sky and we continue getting familiar with the configurator application. During the previous video, we discussed how to set the list of parameters that the tracking device sends to the monitoring software. Today, we will take a look at settings available on the track page, where, among other things, you can set how often the tracking device should save data points with those chosen tags. So, start the configurator, go to settings and choose the track page. The first parameter on this page – data storage. You can set the device to store the archive to the internal flash memory or at the SD card. We strongly recommend using the internal memory as the most reliable solution. With the settings close to default, tracking device internal memory is usually enough to store about a week worth archive without losing any data. You still can store the archive at the SD card, but it's strongly recommended to use the industrial class SD cards. Using devices with integrated eMMC memory is even better. Integrated eMMC memory is installed instead of SD card and available as an option for 7x tracking devices and used by default in all Galileo Sky 10 trackers. The next parameter – order to send data from the internal memory. Devices can send data in chronological order or send latest save data point first and then send all the data. The chronological order means that the device sends data points in the same order as they were saved to the memory. All servers that we know about support the chronological order, but it's better to contact your software support team and make sure that the platform supports the reverse data sending order. Please note that this parameter is applied only when you set the device to save the data to the internal flash memory. In case you choose the SD card, the chronological mode is always applied. Period of points recording allows you to set the time between saving data points in both in motion and the stop modes. We already have a video where I've explained in details all nuances of these modes and how you can configure the device to work properly. I strongly recommend to check this manual. The links is as usual available in the description. The minimal time between points is 1 second and the maximum is about 32 years. Please note that in addition to these timed data points, the device also saving additional points generated by different system events, such as change of logical state of any universal input, reason alarm or detection of any RFID key. Additional data points can also be generated by the firmware during cornering and by easy logic algorithms if the corresponding action is used in logic. Parameters of coordinate filtering system depends on the device model and the current firmware. Now on the screen you can see the settings that are available for Galileo Sky 10 devices and Galileo Sky 7X devices with the firmware 47 and higher. The coordinates filtration scheme depends on the vehicle type you set. So the only thing you actually need to do is to choose the vehicle type that fits your actual vehicle best. In additional settings you can set SNR and HDOP thresholds. When values are higher than the corresponding threshold, the device will mark coordinates as invalid. The GSM-based location provides you an alternative mode for coordinates detection. When this parameter is active and the tracker has no GNSS signal for some reason, it will try requesting coordinates from the GSM network. Unfortunately, the track based on such data is far from accurate, so it's up to you if you want to enable this feature. GPS GLONASS data source settings allows you to choose the source of coordinates data. By default, the device is set to receive coordinates data from the internal GNSS unit. You can also set the device to receive coordinates from the external coordinate source connected via ERS232. Among other options is LBS or GSM-based location and easy logic mode. The parameter timeout of switching to the internal source allows you to set the time after which the device will return to GPS-based coordinates in case the alternative source doesn't provide the data. When you set the RS232 external coordinate source, you also need to configure the RS232 interface. You need to set the interface baud rate, timeout and the protocol. For now, only the NMEA protocol is integrated. Galileo Sky tracking devices are capable to provide you the driver behavior information. It includes readings on linear acceleration and deceleration and also angular acceleration in both directions. You can set the device to get these readings based on the internal accelerometer data or based on the satellite coordinates. In case the GNSS source is chosen, 
you start getting driver behavior data right away, but the accuracy of those readings depends on the quality of the Genesis signal. Obviously, you will not get such readings when the vehicle is in the tunnel or on the underground parking. When you choose the accelerometer as the driver behavior data source, the calibration is required after the device is installed to the vehicle. All you need to do is to send the command shock zero and drive the vehicle for some time. Usually the calibration takes from 2 hours to couple of days, but the accelerometer is always active and you get the driver behavior data with the same accuracy in all possible conditions. In the turning settings group, you can specify the minimal speed and the minimal angle when the device is detecting cornering and adds more data points to draw the smoother track line. You can also set the distance after which the device will automatically save an additional data point during the vehicle travel. The rest settings allow you to choose one of the three available ways for the device to switch between the in motion and the stop modes. The ignition signal has the highest priority, so once you've chosen the ignition input, the device will always be in motion mode while this input is in active state. In case the ignition input wasn't set, the device can switch between modes based on the power supply voltage, you just need to set the corresponding voltage thresholds. And the lowest priority default mode is the accelerometer based. It is used when no other settings were made. For this mode, you just need to specify the accelerometer threshold. The default value of 40 works pretty good for both cars and heavy vehicles, and the only thing you should remember is that the device must be installed on some metal surface if you want to use this mode. The timeout parameter allows you to set the time while the device will stay in the in motion mode after the stop mode was detected by the firmware. Please keep in mind that wrong settings on the track page can cause the tracking issues when the object in the software stays at the same place while the actual vehicle is moving. That's why I recommended you to check the video dedicated to this topic. Link is available in description. That's all for today. Dmitry was with you. See you in the next video.